is Kenya broke or not? And this obviously comes about from the huge uh, question about paying taxes yep. uh, last month that has passed. And now the conversation is, do we have a revenue problem? Do we have an expenditure problem? I suppose that's a good place to start to differentiate two things. That it's not that Kenyans are not paying tax. Mm -hmm. It's not that we're not paying enough. It's not that our businesses and individuals are not paying enough tax. In my view, it's the expenditure of that that has been a problem. I'm not too sure, though. Yeah? If you look at our tax brackets, majorly focused on the formal economy, and the biggest market in this country is the informal economy. So how then do you add them into the tax bracket yeah, to ensure that uh, we are actually collecting enough? And then also consider the thievery that has been happening around tax collection. Yeah? That has been something that uh, has taken away uh, government revenues for the longest time. And which is why, if you look at the movement in terms of uh, revenue collection, we were able to move from, what, probably 200 uh, billion in 2002. Right now, you're looking at, what, one point something trillion? Okay, so let's back up a bit. The moment we are collecting 200 billion, the conversation should be how we spend the 200 billion so okay. that we expand the discussion. Like, <coughs> on the 200 billion that we have, we're spending so much on paying personal recurrent expenditures. Yeah, recurrent expenditures not so much on development so now we can we can now expand that and say okay. whether, uh, whether we collect 15 trillion a month whether uh, we collect 5 uh, trillion a month fair enough yeah government is a bar is a factor of resources yeah? yeah and it depends on where now do you prioritize the resources and yeah. if you don't for instance if you look at education yeah education takes over 300 billion of yeah. our budget yeah when you look at health Health is supposed to take around uh, what? Probably 150 billion. Yes, it's supposed to be 15 percent. 15 percent. Yeah, of the of the. So our budget GDP. now is about 3.7 trillion. I 3 think. 3.7 trillion. Yeah. So when you calculate that, yeah, and then also, uh, if you look at our revenues, it's one point something trillion. Yeah. Now our issue, at the moment, is how then do we finance all other infrastructure projects, considering there are certain key assets there are certain key uh, amenities that yeah. government is supposed to provide these are public utilities they are public goods so while you're providing public goods you must find somewhere yeah the mm. money to actually build the infrastructure so yeah. that's where also when you're talking about debt issues that's where debt financing comes in to be able to support what we are not able to collect internally yeah. and hence also the taxation and the levies i mean that's it's trusted it's given the the other conversation that I don't think we've not spoken about a lot more is the question of, I think the same that we do with politics as well, that we talk about when it's during political times, we talk about how we are going to get this new road to this new community. We yes. talk about a bridge, we're talking about school, we're talking about things we'll bring to this community. But and, not how. And, yeah, and we have a very good phrase, you know, we say sharing the national cake. Yes. So we talk a lot more about how we share the national cake. We don't talk a lot more about how do we prepare the national cake. How do we bake it in, yes. in, in, the, in essence and, and I suppose this is where the disconnect comes. we bake with debt yeah. in um, quite a number of respects. Absolutely so if, if the debt uh, and, and this comes from I think the previous president Moe Kibaki who had an economist and a very clear understanding of yep. how he wanted his government to run and he spread the debt into three. There was multilateral, yep. there bilateral. Was bilateral and then of course commercial debt. Commercial debt. Uh, in his mind, he said that they will take commercial debt uh, to infrastructure or things that can pay for themselves. Okay. We'll take multilateral debts uh, for things that are more social but also can pay for themselves. And bilateral, mostly for things that we can share across with other countries. So it's a, it's a sort of like a resource shared. Now, the thing about thinking around that as an economist, uh, it makes sense in terms of, of course, how much you pay back. Okay. Because a commercial debt vis-a-vis -vis bilateral debt, your commercial debt, you pay a bit more than a bilateral of debt. Course. So in that kind of thinking, then it made sense on the things that he did. And that's okay. why Thicker Road came through and a bit of quite infrastructure project. So obviously, then you have a new government, which came with a different economic thinking, pretty now, much the same. Uh, but... For me, I think they just, uh, the new government and the new thinking that came in was we were so far behind in terms of our development agenda. Yeah? Mm. Right now, which is why you can talk about, when you talk about Kibaki's legacy, you can talk about probably three things. You can talk about the new constitution, you can yeah. talk about thicker road, yeah? you can talk about probably free primary education. 
but right now when you look at what has been financed you can talk about the sgr you can talk about like thousands of kilometers of roads you can talk about uh healthcare in all counties so there is so much there was a bigger dream to be able to offset the development deficit that we had for the last 50 years so and that, i think for me was a more important thing yeah and how it's financed uh it's along the same frameworks so i'll say this uh uh, having observed, see, you know, a couple of economists and that sort of thing, and the genuine and the general conclusion is this, that Kenya has to try to sail close to the wind as much as possible. So get as much loan that we can, that we can pay for, because this country has proven over time we can pay for that loan. Yes. And get this country on a path of economic takeoff. I think right? we are there, and we'll see that probably over the next four years. Brilliant. Brilliant.